this is what I'm retrofitting um, and into a into a, a four pin uh, uh, emergency light well, slash light uh, with integral emergency light. Um, so yeah, I fit one of these. I'll show you. I'll, I'll probably just take some pictures. I hope I can uh, film in there. Um, but yeah, this one fit. I remember the days of two pin, four pins, and ballast or chokes, whatever you call them, and uh, switch start. Back in the day, <laughs> it makes me feel slightly old. <laughs> just showing my age, isn't it? Also shows how technology's come on because this is such a simple retrofit. So yeah, let's get on and do it. Hopefully it should be straightforward. stuff and self taper it to the back or something and wear it up. Um, but it's fairly straightforward. This is the emergency module, so it just needs mains, um, which I'll put layer one and neutral. And then you plug, obviously it switches on the pins on the back, the switch supply, and then you plug that into the uh, where is it? Up there. Put the emergency module into there, which will power it um, when the uh, when they lose power. And I've already plugged in the battery, but in there is the is the battery, which I've already plugged it in. Just under there. So yeah, very straightforward upgrade. Live neutral for the for the permanent supply. and switch supply on the back. So if you couldn't follow a diagram, you're a fucking idiot. It's so it's so straightforward. Um, basically, the emergency module just needs a, a line of neutral, which I got there. That's the permanent line, and there's the neutral, and the switch line, and the neutral just goes on. You remove remove two of the cables from the pins. It's gonna go dark now. Um, so on the back there, where it used to have four cables, one on each pin to go through the ballast, etc., etc. Now you just need two 30 volt mains uh, on each side of the four pin socket. And then you plug in the uh, emergency module at the top. So, there you are. Um, you can change the, the color scent as well, but cool white is pretty fine for this, this place. self tap with the emergency module to the back, dead easy. I sleeved up the uh, switch line neutral but considering like what used to be in the light and now what's in there now, like all the, all extra, the extra weight with your batteries and your switch start or even electronics, sorry, ballast. But even all of that, you just have switch start and a ballast. Now it's replaced by a driver already built into the lamp and an emergency module. It's so simple. How times have changed in my, whatever it is, 17 odd years. <laughs> Now, I know it's just an emergency light. It only takes me about five minutes to swap all that out. But 
My point is just that how te technology has come along in, in just my in my short time of being a spark, you know. Um, yeah, I know it's only epoxy, one little munchie, like I said.